So this is what I appreciate about this awesome YouTube community and um, feedback. We just made a video the other day about cash. A lot of outpour, a lot of upset, a lot of comments um, that people do not like the whole cash system right now. And in Europe, it's just part of their process. The Europeans are not big credit card people. I know I've lived there for 17 years. Uh, Europeans don't put their credit card on file. It's more like a whole cash thing, right? A lot of taxis. Um, but in the United States, where, where ride share is just part of your everyday life, um, I really appreciate a driver sending me four screenshots talking about a live situation, cash situation in Colorado Springs. That's where they launched it on January the 17th. So a few days later, I get some feedback. So thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. So we got uh, Brandon driving a 4.9, beautiful, well done Brandon, and uh, driving a Ford Escape, very sweet layout, the screen, the new uh, Uber screen, um, specific instructions, meet outside 200 East Pikes Peak Avenue, uh, six minute drive, heading over here to Colorado uh, Springs, just across um, the river there, and um, yeah, here it comes. So the next thing we find out is this was a seven dollar and fourteen cents cash trip. Fourteen cents. I mean, you know, do we have that um, two dollars and eighty six floating around our car? No, we don't. So Uber got smart, and they say, you know what? We hold on to your change. You can transfer it. You passenger can transfer it back to your PayPal or back to your account. But they're really trying to motivate that uh, passenger to take the next trip because they're holding on to the money. It's like a credit. You have a credit, right? So they're for almost psychologically forcing that individual to take the next trip, right? So um, if we look at here, his, his, he was at Antlers, Hilton, Colorado Springs. Uh, he arrived at 6 p.m. The trip was $7.14. Now, this is... This is a fact, and I've spoken to tons and tons of um, taxi drivers, right? This is their turf. This is why yellow cabs have the screens in the car. This is why they have all that extra built-in security, because it's a cash business. Now suddenly you're supposed to accept cash. I am truly, truly not happy about this, right? And when I had a meeting with my uh, 17 drivers, about one or two said, oh, we'll take cash. The other 15, screw this, we ain't taking cash. Right? Because here's the thing, if on a Friday or Saturday night, think of this, it's 2 o'clock in the evening, anybody that wants to hit your car or usually hit a taxi knows 2 to 3 o'clock in the morning the guy's conducted at least 4 hours of trips and has a lot of cash at hand. They ain't going to go after you at 6, 7 in the evening when you just started out. The real smart ones know, hey, the money, the cash on hand that the guy is holding is late, late at night to early morning. That's when the most of the trouble happens, right? So what about myself, all those drivers that uh, have done a couple of trips on a Friday, Saturday night, and let's say in LA we've collected all this cash, we are primo targets. No built-in security, no screens, no nothing. Pretty much rely on your pepper spray, pretty much rely on your dash cam. But if the guy is after your cash, he wants your cash. You'll hold a knife or a gun to your throat, and that's it. I'm not for it, man. I am simply, simply not for it, okay? The, the, the taxi drivers have their, it's their business, the cash business. They have their, uh, wind, their, their security screens built in, some do, some don't, and let them handle it. So when you come to this cash screen in here, it says drivers don't provide change when you pay with cash. If you owe change, we automatically apply it towards your next ride. You can also transfer your change to PayPal account, right? So... Great way for Uber to entice the next trip. Uh, okay, cool. You don't have to have that change on you, but you carrying cash. All those trips that they've taken throughout the night, you accumulating the cash. $7.15, $26.55, you accumulating it. And you're sitting there after four hours with a few hundred bucks. Primo target, my friends. So I'm not, I'm not for it. I don't like it. Um, I want more of your feedback. I want you to speak up and, 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 and write to Uber if, if you don't enjoy this. If it comes to LA, I'm boycotting it. You, you will see 
a video made by me, that's when I go uh, full on with Uber. Ain't happening, you know. Uh, uh, Lyft has got this down with their tipping platform. It's all credit card operated. If the one guy, guy wants, girl wants to leave a tip, it's all included. Works flawless, no problem at all. This here, my friends, is going to open up a problem in the United States. So that screen, that payment screen, now suddenly has a payment methods, has a cash thing in there. That's what they've just tested on January the 17th. So here, transfer, transfer your change to PayPal, because the guy doesn't carry change. Add your payment method, etc., etc. I want to hear more of your feedback. I, I feel like I've got a lot of feedback from you, and I'm accumulating that feedback. I want to make a case. But let me know if you're cool taking cash. Let me know if you're cool taking cash for and you're driving three, four, five hours. And, and, you know, what do you make on a typical Friday or Saturday? And what do you make in X? What do you make in, in SUV driving four, five hours on a Saturday night, right? Okay. Now, a percentage of that is going to be cash and a percentage of that is card. I'm going to guess the lower percentage is going to be cash. But any SUVs or... or or Uber X's floating around two, three o'clock in the morning. That's it. That guy has to have some cash on him. What do you think? Please share with me. Thank you.